and we're on welcome if you're new to this channel let me introduce myself my name is logan this is timeless personal growth and development and this is the story time show episode 64 65 i believe and today we're talking about living in the past versus living in the future let's get started but before we do get started, I just have to tell you guys one important thing. This week marks the one year mark of this YouTube channel. So, just a shout out to everyone who's followed and watched my videos and subscribed. Thank you. Thank you for watching my contact content. And if this was of value to you, let me know. Comment and like and tell your friends about it. It was uh, yeah, about this time a year ago, lockdowns and the pandemic started, and what was I going to do in self-isolation and quarantine? I needed stuff to do with my day, so I needed some sort of creative outlet. I mean, you guys, you guys can identify with that as well. You needed something to do, you couldn't sit in front of the TV, do nothing, you need to be creative. Oh, let's so decide to start this YouTube channel. So, thank you for following me. Thank you very much. So, let's get started on today's topic, since I got that out of the way. So, I got a quote here for you guys. The longer you live in the past, the less future you have to enjoy. Horrible things happen to us all the time, right? We all have challenging lives. Life is not meant to be easy. Of course. But you can choose to decide what you want to do with challenging, difficult things that happen to you. You can just sit and sulk in the corner and think about it. Stop doing that. Stop it now. Don't do that. Or you can just allow yourself to be upset, but only for a very small amount of time. Tell yourself, all right, I'm going to be upset today. This crappy situation happened to me. This is not the way I was hoping this would turn out. I'm not satisfied with this. But you know what? I'm going to allow myself to be upset tonight. I'm going to be upset. But tomorrow, I'm going to pick myself up. And I've done this before. i sure some of you have done it before, too. Where bad things happen to us, and then we, we just freaking give up on ourselves, man. We just, we sit down, and we sulk, and every other action, any other avenue, any kind, any other place we decide to go, we have that f stupid failure in the back of our minds. And we just let that failure just like, usually from a very subconscious perspective, subconscious point, we just allow that crappy situation that happened to us just dig into our subconscious and it actually will dictate and be a self-fulfilling prophecy for other potential successes that we can have in our life and will actually affect those successes in a negative light because we'll have a already a preconceived view of well, nobody likes me. Well, this situation happened to me in the past, and it probably it keeps happening over and over again, so it's probably going to happen again. No. No. It keeps happening again and again and again, not because of karma, not because the universe is against you. It's something that you're doing, something that you're doing that you're not paying attention to for yourself. So when, you, when stuff like that happens and you keep dwelling on the past, oh, this keeps ha these crappy situation. It's the common trend over and over again. It keeps happening. There's a reason why it keeps happening. It has nothing to do with karma. It has nothing to do with the universe. It's, it's BS. Stop thinking like that. Stop that. Don't don't do that to yourself. Detach. Take a step back and start reevaluating and self-reflecting on yourself. 
because bad things keep happening to you over and over again. But you're the common denominator in that situation. So what are you going to do about it? You can sit there and sulk and be upset and actually make... Dig into yourself and dig into here and actually make the effort to work on yourself and make the effort to actually evaluate and actually take a little bit of ownership of your own life and f take full responsibility of the good things and the bad things that happen in your life. Because if you want to take credit for all the positive things that happen in your life, sure. But then you're not you're putting all the negative things that happen in your life onto someone else. That's the wrong way to go about it, man. That's the wrong way to go about it. Why should you be taking credit for the good stuff to begin with? You have to take ownership of everything. The good and the bad. And yeah, maybe taking ownership of the bad stuff, maybe that punches our ego a little bit. Who cares? Who cares? If you can't detach from your ego, if you can't separate your own ego, your own ego investments into certain situations, you're going to have a difficult time. And you're going to have a difficult time ex ex accepting responsibility when bad stuff happens in your own life. I did that when I was when I was young. For a good example for you guys, in about 2011, so about 10 years ago, when I was I broke up with the girl that I was seeing, and instead of just dealing with that breakup health in a healthy manner, in a healthy way, I just kind of let it destroy me, and I just fell into a fell into an abyss of junk food and video games and working out, but not 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 really taking it seriously and not really being fully into my workouts and just living for junk food and living for video games, going to work and paying the bills and doing the bare minimum. And then just coming home and just like sitting in front of the TV doing this in the games and I would live for that. And I was upset. Oh, this horrible thing. This girl broke up with me. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, poor me. Oh, I'm so sad. But, like, yeah, it happens to everybody. Yeah. And I wasted months and months of my life just, oh, feeling butthurt and feeling sorry for myself. Oh, nobody loves me. Boo hoo. Victim mentality. Uh, yeah. Get, get out of that. I've done, and I did a video about this. I think it was about a, about a year ago. I did a video on the victim mentality. I think I would have to go back a minute. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. And one of the one of the one of the biggest setbacks, one of the one of the biggest leashes and chains that you can have on yourself and that you can have on your potential and your success with relationships, with fitness, with finance, with Realizing your goddamn dreams is the stupid victim mentality. Oh, these horrible things happen, happen to me. Oh, I'm of this gender, blah, blah, blah. Poor me, I'm a victim. Oh, I'm, a, I'm of this race, blah, blah, blah. I'm a victim. No, you're not. You're a person. You're a person on this earth that is in full control of your life. And when you already have a pre-existing view of yourself as a victim... You're in for a world of hurt. And not because everybody else is hurting you, is you're already hurting yourself with that framework and that mentality. It's not the... I've said this before. It's not the external factors that are going to prevent you from realizing your true potential. It's you. Nobody can stop you from being, being successful and getting what you want. Getting the healthy, positive relationships you want, the healthy dating experiences you want, building a family that you want. Nobody can stop that and nobody can be the advocate for success and the driving force of your life. But you, you're in charge of that. Nobody else. Yeah, we can all have really difficult upbringings. It happens.
We can be upset about, oh, my mother did this, oh, my father did that, and my stepfather, my stepmother was horrible to me. Cool, but great. And it's terrible, but at a certain point in your life as an adult, you've got to start taking responsibility for your, for your own life and detach yourself from those people and detach yourself from those situations and not allow that to define you and make your own future. And what stops that from happening and building the future and realizing your goals and your dreams that you want is one, is all those horrible things that happen to you, but then combining that with the stupid victim mentality. And the two kind of go hand in hand. Instead of, because you decide to be a victim, nobody labels you a victim. That's you. That's your mental framework. So change your thought process, change your belief set, and start planning for the future. Think about what future you want in your life and make, make goals. Make daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, yearly goals, and just do that a little bit at a time. It's your world, right? You get to decide who steps into your world, who doesn't. And someone it leaves a negative footprint on your life. Get rid of them. Simple. And bring people in that add value. And make the effort to add value to other people's lives. And take full ownership of your life. Take ownership, take responsibility, and take an accountability. I've done a video like that on, not in the past, I think it was last summer, talking about ownership, responsibility, and accountability. Dive into those three principles, 100%, and you'll see your life change. Embrace challenges, stop living in the past, and just go for it. And stop letting these little fears and insecurities you had of disappointments and setbacks and discouragements that you have in the past and just look at it in the sense like oh these bad things have happened to me okay cool gives me a chance to get better gets gives me a chance to get stronger gives me a chance to improve on myself so i become better and look at it like look at it like that and don't live for your past because your past you cannot fix and you cannot control that Whatever happened, happened. Accept it and let it go. Stop living like that because if you keep living in your past, you are not going to be able to see and you're going to be blinded to what's looking at you in your future. And on that note, thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, like I said in the beginning of this video, this is my one-year mark of this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this... YouTube channel has added value to you, and I will continue doing it. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Logan Ryder, Timeless Personal Growth and Development, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one.